Hi, Wes Scott from Kane and Scott. Today we're going to talk about what assets will I lose filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy in Rochester, Minnesota. You know, the focus in a Chapter 7 is on your assets. And we, as bankruptcy professionals, uh, like to categorize your assets in one of two ways. One, we say they're exempt, which means protected, or they are non-exempt, which means they are not protected. Now, the vast majority of people who file in Rochester have what we call exempt assets, which means their assets are protected. Your home, your clothing, your furnishings, your pensions uh, are all protected. Now, there are some people who have non-exempt assets. And non-exempt assets, of course, are things that we obviously cannot protect. And the question is, well, what happens to them? Well. The, the idea of a trustee is to take things that are non-exempt and liquidate them, sell them, take those proceeds and pay your creditors uh, and whoever doesn't get paid off gets wiped out. So for example, if you live in Rochester and you own a home free and clear worth $200,000 and you live there, it's your home, that home is protected. But now let's say you also own a condo in Florida worth, oh, I don't know, uh, let's say it's worth 75000 And let's say you have $300,000 in unsecured debt. Well, in that case, the trustee is going to sell the condo. Let's say after, you know, they sell and they um, negotiate prices and costs of sale, the trustee nets fifty grand. Trustee takes that fifty grand, uh, pays down your debts, pays down the $300,000, Obviously, $250,000 is left over, and that gets wiped out tax-free forever. A great deal. When the time's right, when you are ready, reach out to Kane and Scott. You're going to be so thankful you did.